You're watching again TVGXT, of course, a big thanks to the man who is mixing the music, our mystery DJ. And, uh, of course, thank you for tuning into the show. You who is at home, my name is David, as always, and unfortunately, Cairo is not feeling too well. We seem to be falling sick in tans because I wasn't here last week. But it's good to be back, and, uh, of course, it's good to be having a guest on the show, um, someone who... Well, for some of you, might be a stranger. For a lot of us <laughs> who have been listening to music for the last couple of years, he's he's been around for a bit. Yeah, Michael Chris, right. welcome to the show. Oh, thank you, man. Totally thank appreciate you, oh, you coming Pleasure's out on. and taking the time off. Pleasure's um, on. Me. Yeah. So, really quickly, because because I, I I know you you're busy. You have a concert to prepare for. You yeah, have man. to go do rehearsals and all those things. <laughs> um, but just tell us a bit about yourself, who you are. Yeah. Um, you know how you got into this. Well, let's just start with... with, with. I hear, uh, I'm Michael Chris, obviously. I'm a singer. Are those, are those the names your parents give Yeah, you? yeah, that's what are it those is. those the ones? Because <laughs> some, some musicians no. come up with names and they're like, hey, your son is a musician. I hear you, that's I hear Michael you. Chris. I didn't know that one. No, the name has been <laughs> consistent. If you go back to school, yes. I went to school, everybody that I went to school with, they know my name as Michael Chris. Okay. Anyway, long story short, um, I'm a singer-songwriter, a producer of music, but also a preacher of the gospel. Uh, so basically, uh, people have known me in the past as a secular artist of the songs that we came out, yeah. the few people in the country here. But um, in 2009, uh, I heard a revisit, if we can tell it that way. I gave my life to Christ in 1999. Okay. But I fell a little bit back in 2007, 8. You know, those were the years of my, you know, slipping back. Okay. But uh, in 2009, I walked back into the late. And I started paying much more critical attention to my spiritual life. So, so, so I mean, on the, on, on the show today later on, we're going to be talking about um, those little peeves that even yeah, th they seem to be creeping I hear in now here and there yeah, that yeah, we, yeah. we don't think are very, you know, as Christians, we sort of get away with them. Man. I like, hear you. Like the little white sins yeah, man. that we have. <laughs> um, um, what was, I mean, because you say you walked away in 2007, 2008, That's right, yeah, yeah. and they normally start with those little small compromises. What, what, what were those things for you at the time? For me, it was the pursuit of this thing called fame. You know, uh, before I get my life to Christ, I was a singer. I, I was rotating here. There used to be a famous club, pub here in, in, in Uganda called Sabrina's Pub. Yeah. That's where we started uh, pursuing this thing. Me, Juliana, all the race like, yes. people. And, but I went out of it in 1999 before I ever hit and hit in Uganda. So um, 2008, uh, friends, I was in a, in a different, I was in a specific company of people who were also in the pursuit of this thing. Now, these are brothers that I've grown up with. It, you know, we singing together. So I was like, you know what? I'm skipping out of church now. Let me pursue this thing. Let me re. I, I gotta Cause, make cause, it. Because there's no fame in church. Well, in church <laughs> don't, don't buy music. They don't pay for concerts. Yeah, so. that's all thing. Yeah. But, so anyway, that was it. And you know, the devil is very kerny because obviously you start off by saying, let me just do a song. So we dancing in that. We hit in the country. I was like, actually, I could do this, man. Mm. So I done a second song, and I was like, you know, let me write a love song and whatever. But the hiccup was when I started hitting the clubs and performing in the clubs in London. Now, obviously, if you know about the club environment and all that, you know, when you're a singer, other things follow. Yeah. So I started compromising real big. And the thing is, I lost my peace inside. You know, I never heard that. The serenity that I heard before, now I could be so buffered about it. People were hating on me, you know. People in the industry who have been working it but can't break through. Were like, how can this dude can step up and do this, whatever. I heard a lot of enemies, really. Yeah. But long story short, 2009, I was like, you know what, hands up. I surrender my life to Christ totally. So, so, so do, does that mean you mm. stopped writing love songs? <laughs> uh, no, uh, basically, I've got love songs, but in the right context. Okay. Yeah, in a godly context. How God, how God wants us to look for it. I'm a dude. Yeah. I write songs in a respectful way to women. I'm not yes. going to write these other songs. You know the songs that yeah, go with them. Yeah, I, so exactly. Yeah. So I write love songs in a context, the biblical context, okay. according to the way God ordained love to be. Okay. Not in a way love is understood in this damn area. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Um, um, so, <laughs> 2009, you give your life back. Do you, do you, did you launch into music full time? Because you're already, you know, uh, uh, well, so yeah, I was, I was a, just then. Yeah, I was in the music though the whole time. Full time. Yeah, you were not not doing anything else. Yeah, uh, the, the very critical thing. There's a there's a man of God who walked with me through all this because I was in the church before, you know, this whole transition into secular music. I was in the church that threw me out actually. They told me you are you ain't you are a god now. You ain't a sheep no more. Mm. You know that kind of thing. So I fell out. But there's another dude, a pastor friend of mine from Ghana, who 
always admired my calling and my gift from a distance. Okay. So in this very time, he, it was timely. He came to me and told me, you know what, no matter what has happened, God's mind hasn't changed about you. Okay. God still looks at you the same way he looked at you before you even went into this. And you're still good in the kingdom of God. Those were strong words to me. Yeah. They were beautiful words at that time because everybody looked at me like, hey, you were the prodigal son. You're lost. You're off the, the, the path of life. Yeah, you know? and, 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 and a lot of Christians are trying, are trying to strike a balance because, yeah. because yes, first of all, we, we want to be godly, That's right. but also we want to, to influence. You, you, want, right. you want to record a song as a mm -hmm. Christian and, and have it playing on, on secular radio, That's right. That's in regular right. primetime, not just on Sunday hear, morning in the gospel show. Uh, or you, you, know, you want to be a banker and, 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 and influence. And, and so from, from, your, from your journey of, of learning mm. and you know, falling and learning some more, mm. what advice do you give to someone who is trying to be an influ influential Christian, who is not trying to just sort of hide behind the church? I, and, yeah. I, I think the Bible says wisdom is a principal thing. You know, there are always ways of getting around the coin, you see. For instance, if you, if you are rightfully in the right mode of say, relationship or love, you can write a beautiful love song that can get on a, on a major mainstream radio station without being criticized that this is, because obviously many a radio station, they have their own critic, uh, criteria of music they play. So if it's a fully gospel song, they'll, they'll be off. But also secondly, the Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all other things shall be added unto thee. Yeah. Before we became bankers, before we became singers, we were created for the kingdom of God. Okay. So that has got to be a consistent thing. No matter what you want to do, you can never influence the world more than God can do. You're better off influencing the world with God on your side and going on your own. Ah, okay. So yeah. seek ye first the kingdom of God and, and, and all the stresses. Now, there's also the debate of, mm -hmm. of, of, well, I was having this with a couple of friends and it, it's ha begin to happen in the industry. Yeah. Um, and you have, you know, a lot of, uh, Kak Franken is coming out on it, and the truth is coming out on it. Mm. And the the first of all, labeling art Christian art, mm -hmm. and and instead of just saying, "Look, I do, I'm a Christian, my, that's right. and I, I do art," that's and right. and that's a conflict that is happening mm -hmm. a lot in the industry. Here mm -hmm. you find you find Christian painting saying, "I, I do Christian." That's paintings. right. That's um, right. You've produced, you've written, you've, mm -hmm. you've worked in, in the radio industry. Mm. Uh, you're, you're, basically, you've been in the arts for, for a long time. Uh, sure. What is your take on the fact that people classify their art as Christian art instead of... Cause, I mean, the, I remember Switchfoot coming out uh, uh, a couple of years ago and yeah, saying, no, yeah. our music is not Christian music. I hear. And they're saying, you know, our music can't give its life to Christ. It's That's inspired right. by our story, uh, you sure. know, as Christians, mm -hmm. but... It isn't Christian music, and the world crucified them for that. That's right. I know Kak Funkin hinted something yeah, like yeah, that yeah. in his new album, I and hear. the world killed them for that. What, what do you take? What do you say about the new direction that Christian artists are taking? I think it's the content. It's always down to the content, no matter what it is. Uh, you know, you know, the gospel is very definitive in its own way. You know, so uh, there's personally as a writer. Mm. If I'm to, the songs, the vertical songs that you're writing, encouragement songs, people that are going, the songs that are going to be on the vertical, then they're, on, or horizontal, sorry. Yeah. Then there are vertical songs that are relating to the Father, to God. So the content really varies. But also the, the situation of the heart of the writer will always be felt in the songs, you see. So if I'm in a mood of anger, I'll write a song, even though however much I'm trying to be off yes. the anger beat, but it will reflect in that. So the content of the music or any artistic piece is always important. You see, when you look, you know, artists are very, 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 very intelligent people. And the way they display, they bring forth, the way they birth this thing into existence, it's amazing. Okay. You know, there are times I'm in the studio and I'm penning a song and I wanted this specific direction to be, I wanted the song to be in a specific direction, but then it tends to go in a different direction. Okay. You know, but the whole... The, 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 the issue is staying on course with what you want to portray. Okay. You know, the dude said, this is not, it's not Christian, it's not gospel music. Yeah. It's just, uh, you know, person experience, it's testimonial music. You know, so it's just a context. So, so, so you agree with, with, with that line of thought that, you know, it's not... This. Yeah, yeah. I mean, honestly speaking, we, we don't want to be religious. We want to be faith people. There's a difference between religion. A religious person can practice something they are not. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, you, but you if, write holy, holy, holy. I, do you see what, I, but I don't you, believe you're it's, ain't. Yeah. You're not even resonating with it. Yeah. But somebody who's got faith, who's walking in the faith, they say what they believe. Their heart, their soul, their spirit 
are resonating mm. with what they're saying. Oh, all right. Yeah. Michael Chris is, is still <laughs> with us. Uh, he's going to come perform a couple of songs. Uh, most of them probably we, we won't have had before. Yeah, you uh, would because you haven't been you haven't been around for a while. You were in, in about two thousand and eight <laughs> nine. nine you no, fell off the face of the earth. Oh, come on, no, man. No, no, one, no one knows where <laughs> that's you that's a big word because, right there. No, because because I remember uh, yeah. the the last pr I think you did that collaboration with Exodus. Yeah, yeah, and then after that it was nothing. Yeah, I, I think I think. Um, uh, First of all, I don't live in Uganda. Okay. That's the point. So if you're not, if you're not on ground in Uganda, yeah. you know how it is. I mean, I'm hitting the TVs now. I'm here with you. Yeah. But if I'm not here, you won't even have me here. Okay. No matter how much I want to be. Yeah, and also, you, you know. yeah. He's <laughs> 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 no, no. That take is just coming right now. Okay. It's just years old. Yeah. You know, Skype is just years old now. Yeah. And people can only accept Skype now on their TVs yeah. now. Yeah. But before they would. Okay. So anyway, uh, the, the whole point is, in order to be effective in this industry, you gotta be, you gotta have the presence okay. on the ground. So, so are you, yeah. does that mean you're moving back? I'm not moving uh, back, but like I said, wisdom is a principal thing. Yeah. <laughs> My presence will be felt wherever. Okay, we'll yeah. be back talking about your concert, talking yeah. about what we can expect, uh, talking about you know your music and a couple of songs and the albums that you're doing. And of course, feel free to get in, in touch with us on Twitter and on Facebook. That's NTV underscore GXP on Twitter and NTVJXP on Facebook. And of course, we'll be sharing a couple of your comments. During the week, we put up uh, a post talking about those, those, those peeves, those things that we do as Christians that we justify, you know, and we say, this is not so bad. This is not so much of a sin. No, but they in turn just sort of take us away from our faith. And we realize it's too late that, you know, we've drawn away from God. We talk about those things. And we'd like you to share yours. So get in touch with us on Facebook and on Twitter. That's NTV underscore JXP on Facebook and NTV JXP on Twitter. And we'll be having a powerful man of God in the house. You know, just help us break through these things and what the Bible says about those things and how we can identify them and most, most, uh, most basically how we can go through them. But for now, here's our mystery DJ playing you some great, great music. You're watching NTV JXP. Good morning. <laughs>